Welcome right. to the Baseball Podcast. We're here with your friends and arguably ours as well. Many call them uh, Jim Gillespie and Garrett. Garrett doesn't have a last name. Um, he's, he's like, it, he's he's like, like Prince. Yeah, he's yeah. like Pele. He just has one. He's Ichiro. He just has one name. Yeah, or like, or, or Cher. <laughs> I think he's, yeah, I think he's more like Spider-Man. Cher than any of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Garrett and Cher, the birds of a feather. So get, one of the <laughs> yeah, many back in things. High school, they call me doesn't Cher. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the many things that, that uh, Jim and Garrett have in common is that they, they both allegedly like the Phillies. You know, we're, we're going to see how much later on. But um, listen, you you guys, we we've at least watched you know, a couple of minutes of Phillies with you guys over the course of our lives. Um, wh- where do you, yeah, where do you guys see the twenty twenty three Phillies falling this year? Because uh, it's a tough division, and the Phillies have really come out of the gates screaming by getting hurt and losing to the Rangers. So what do you guys think? Are we doing this town hall style or really? Yeah, Garrett, take the floor yeah. first. Or? Yeah, Garrett, you have the mic. Yeah, Garrett, you go first. Um, you know, bold prediction for 2023 season is I see the Phillies winning the second game of the year. Um, uh, I don't think anyone sees this one coming. You know, oh. there. <laughs> so, better watch out for that one. Uh, tough division, you know, Mets, um, uh, and the uh, Mar- Marlins definitely not. You know, yeah, that's, I think uh, you Phillies know. do again what they did. Yeah, I think they do what they did again last year. Where I like they, to think he's looking down at a bunch of notes. <laughs> oh! uh, the Orioles. No, wait, that's not our division. Uh, uh, Garrett's uh, like, I got to no. remember baseball as a whole. Uh, <laughs> which sport is that? <laughs> yeah, the Philadelphia Iron Kings. Um, it depends no, yeah, on what year, but yeah. Do... Yeah, yeah, really. Um, I think the Phillies do what they did last year. Just uh, they don't squeak by. They get you know first round secured, but I don't know. I think I think a World Series is hard. What they pulled off last year was a miracle. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say with Trey Turner they're going to go all the way now, but I just don't see that happening. As much as I wanted to, I just Ooh. don't see it happening. You know, better so record than train. last Can year, I... but a lot. But um, you know, I I. I don't know. I see a better regular season, but I don't see, you know, them going farther in the playoffs. So, are you saying that you're you're coming into 2023 with tempered expectations after a World Series run? Right. Well, if you had interviewed me like a week ago, then yes. But after what I saw the other day, that was <laughs> right. So now they're less tempered and more dampened entirely. <laughs> Yeah, I was going like World Series all, all the way until yesterday, and now I'm thinking maybe we should well, sell the team. Garrett's the kind of guy who, who's only happy when his team goes 162 and 0. You <laughs> yeah. know? So if they win tomorrow and we talk to you, they're going to be going to the World Series again? Well, no, because yeah, then they're going to be 500. That's an 81 yeah, and 81 know, pace, brother. True. I'm basically every guy that calls into a Philadelphia radio. Yeah, well, well, yeah, except you. <laughs> Except you haven't called in in Here's March to talk. <laughs> you haven't called in in March to talk about like the Eagles' quarterback situation. I love Hurts, but they got to be looking at quarterbacks in the draft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's every guy. That's me every morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jim wakes up I and he looks in the w- mirror. I call in the like... WIP with a mouthful of scrambled eggs every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. We got Garrett's expectations. 161 and one is the best that he can hope for at this point. Jim, how do you feel? Do you agree or, or what do you think? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Lewis and Hoskins hurts. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of that's a lot of man you're taking out of the lineup. Whoa, whoa. That's a lot. You know, <laughs> it's tough to it's tough to start the season. Well, here's the thing though. I don't think Bone should be playing third base that's my whole thing anyway i think he should be at first base okay he's, okay. he's a terrible defender he, he he makes routine plays look extremely difficult looks like i'm out there if I'm being honest <laughs> you have the same well, hair on yeah <laughs> i don't know you're nimble on your feet we've got yeah we've got the hair we've got the height i don't know but <laughs> yeah you can put me and out obviously the, the ability to hit the baseball at a major league level listen ask fucking ask bruce jr <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. 
<laughs> get uh-huh. him on the get him on the horn. <laughs> so, but like with the bone thing, so he probably is defensively a first baseman. But I don't like looking at the corner infield situation in 2023 and be like, oh, Alec Bohm, Edmundo Sosa, and Derek Hall. Fantastic. Like, <laughs> yeah, I look exactly. at that and I'm like, That's ooh, that sounds recipe, like, dude. yeah, that sounds like 2014 Phillies. You know, like, oh, we got yeah. a bunch of guys who suck. Maybe they'll all have career years at the same time. Who See, knows? At least, at least they changed the ideology because it used to be, hey, let's get let's get some fucking old guy we can throw a bunch of money at. And have him plug the hole, and then yeah, they never right. trust the pipeline. You know what I mean? So, yeah. at least the guy, the young kids are playing now. Yeah, I mean the young kids that they have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like Stott and and Bohm and whatever the backup catcher's name is. Oh, well, Garrett Stubbs. Stubbs. Garrett Stubbs, famous Stubbs. Jew. Yeah, <laughs> big, um, big famous Jew. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, sound, yeah, Jimmy, I mean, you sound like every dad that's just happy to be there. Like, ah, oh, it's good to see that the young guys are out there playing. It's just good. I just didn't want to see Josh Harrison at all. I just don't want to see it. I, I have bad news. You probably will. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to see Jake Cave ever again. Oh, my gosh, dude. Hey, Jake, Jake Cave. Cave only doesn't have a home run the other day because he got robbed. So, you know, there is that. But I do really like that the people were like, I don't know, man, Jay Cave had a good spring. Like, well, since when does that mean anything? Then Mickey Moniak's the league MVP. Well, and of course, right. Mickey Moniak is the league MVP. Right. Don't make me don't don't make me dust off my fucking my John Mayberry photo album. Oh <laughs> blow the dust off of it. <laughs> Dude, you gotta give that one like a yeah, I think it's like national treasure. Like you're pulling the cobwebs yeah. off. Of it. <laughs> when the yeah. towers came down, the only thing they found was my John Mayberry album. Yeah, it's a John Mayberry tome. <laughs> and like John Mayberry goes into spring training in what, like 2011, and he hit like 10 home runs in spring training. And people are like, dude, I think he turned a corner, bud. And it's all yeah, the I'm same the, guys. I'm, I'm that asshole that got the tattoo. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because he's, he's hitting homers off of guys that are practicing only throwing fastballs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you also get a Ben Francisco tattoo after he hit like six home runs in April back in like two thousand nine? <laughs> yeah, Ben Dude, Francisco. Guy, That's a good name. I, I got. I, I I have a fucking. I have a Cody Ashton shrine. Oh, here. Wait. So we're playing the game. Should we just hop into it? Well, uh, do, do, do we do we want to get our predictions, or are we going to do that in a different part? Nah, yeah, Let's do that in a different part. I like how Garrett has that. mastered freezing handsomely. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Garrett's got to open the store tomorrow. We can't waste his time tonight. <laughs> Screenshot. Okay, guys. Whoa. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Garrett's just jumping around on the screen, dude, guys. Yeah, look at his face. He's like... Yeah, he, yeah, dude, really good. Good. Dude, yeah, Garrett look at his just face. my girl for the cycle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gar- Gar's like, like when she looks down between her legs and all she sees is here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, Gar- listen. Going- <laughs> <sighs> listen, guys, th- this is a, a G rated podcast. Okay, so we're going to have to edit all that out. This is a, this is a, G- <laughs> this is a G star rated podcast. Yeah, no, he's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did he? oh, I thought Garrett froze again. It turns out he's just he's just stoic as hell he's down there sometimes. He was, being, yeah. he was being handsome in real time. Yeah, he's like, I, I gotta be handsome a hundred percent of the time. I've never seen somebody lick freezes. their lips that many times on a podcast. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you call Garrett's, our guest out. Yeah, Garrett's not frozen. He just goes naturally. <laughs> All right, guys, listen. So, um. <laughs> I don't, he's like, I don't know what it is. Baseball makes me bite my lamp. <laughs> yeah, baseball just gets me real chapped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? Get baseball makes him wear chaps. Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, that that, that too, that too. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm cool. just saying. How do we feel? How do we feel about the DH? Huh? Love it. Um, love I it. do too. Yeah, I, I love that the Phillies were a factor in the playoffs because Bryce Harper got the DH, so I'm sold on it now. Mm-hmm. In years yeah, the past, second it starts to benefit me. Yeah, so, oh, man. Hey, let's give Garrett a chance to yell at the clouds. Go ahead. I think Garrett is... Ah. Garrett's marble, dog. He's, <laughs> he's immortalized. There he is. Yeah, I just... 
Yeah, Garrett's out here looking like Squidward's house. <laughs> every, like, every like two minutes, uh, every like two minutes, I'll just get a notification that your connection is unstable, and then Jimbo turns yeah. into like a robot. D- Dude, Why Garrett's there? Garrett's casting from like an undisclosed location in like Montana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Garrett. Like Garrett so listen, yellow He's clouds connected about the, the God's Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Garrett's in a safe house. <laughs> yeah, you know God has like like fifty G. <laughs> yeah. God downloads stuff is. before My he God. even presses the download button. That's how good heaven Wi-Fi is. So should we we should we kick off a round of Elmer descends? Oh wait, let Garrett weigh in on the DH. Right, right, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Garrett. Yeah, I I honestly I don't know why it took so long. Like they were just I felt like they were just experiencing with the AL for like way too long, and then we were it like, took oh, so okay, long because the old owner of the Phillies was like, N- no. <laughs> that was definitely a factor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that how it happened? But, yeah, but basically, <laughs> well, Jim was <laughs> there. To be fair. Yeah. So, d- yeah, it's a great, it's a great thing. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It is good because guess what? I mean, let's be honest. If the Phillies had Hideki Matsui, we'd be, we'd be talking. Yeah, the only, we'd be talking the only people right arguing. The only people arguing to keep it were like the people who were like, well, Cole Hamels hit a home run a couple of years ago. That's always fun to see every once in a while. Yeah, like, oh, you know how how many times I've gotten in a yeah. bar fight because Cliff Lee hit a home run. <laughs> Hey, I think Clipley hit two home runs. He did. I, 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 so you, I like that this is a him. constant issue for Jim, though. Well, he's like, I got another bar fight over Cliff. Yeah, he's like, you see, you see these scars. That that's from my 2018 these bar fights. Hands. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah, have calluses like from swinging. Like... I got calluses from swinging. You know. Yeah, Jim's like, my hands look like this. Like these scars are for <laughs> people saying Placido Polanco is not an all star. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Jim is already kicking us so far with that. Uh, yeah. hey, we, we've named a random organic fill. Elmer descends. Garrett hasn't even had the chance. Give me a random fill. A random fill. How about a little JC Romero? Oh, all right, all right. Lefty specialist JC Romero. Jimbo, your turn. Listen, I'll follow that spicy number up with a, with a with a classic. With a with a. With, I'm gonna pop this Merlot open. It's been sitting in my basement for years. Yeah, Justin De- Justin Defreitas. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. Oh. <laughs> All, right. All right, Tom, we're going counterclockwise. It seems okay. I'm gonna go with Hobie Milner. <laughs> Gabe Kapler's favorite. Yeah, now- dude, I I was prepping in my mind for this. I'm dude, you're not okay. ready. You're not ready at all for my next one. Yeah, oh, Garrett- I, I'm not. Garrett was go ahead, go ahead Ethan. Go Garrett ahead, Ethan. Was Garrett was probably like three years old when this guy was playing it. How are you guys feeling about Wes Helms? Ooh. You're an asshole. No way. I was going to say that. <laughs> like, oh. Out of my head, Patricia. How much more betrayal can I take? Oh, my God. Dude, yeah, you just yeah, back yeah. footed Jim. Go ahead, Garrett. What the he literally hell? just flat tired me on the way to math class. It sucks. Hey, he just blew a tire. <laughs> So it's, well, is, that, uh, is that Jimbo's turn? He's just like passing on to the next round. No, it's no, your no, turn. No. It's, it's your, your turn. turn. We're, going, we're going counterclockwise. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I will hit you. I'll hit you with another bullpen specialist, Jared Eikhoff. Oh, yeah, he was a starter. How dare you? Go on, Al. Who's bullpen quality? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> how about how about Michael Schweimer? Oh, oh, he was a Jew too. He was a broad man, wasn't he? He yeah, imagine Ethan just has a list of like all the Jewish guys. He's he does. Tall, it's he literally does. Yeah, yeah. I put, like, I unironically. Another, I put another candle in my menorah for each one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah Michael Schwartz. Got... I was like, Bobby Rossman, thank God. Yeah. Leo official. <laughs> he survived the Holocaust. <laughs> all right, James, who you got? Oh, uh, me? Uh, uh, me? I, say, I said Michael Schweimer. Yeah, oh, you're, right, you're right. Tom, go ahead. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go with Elvis Araujo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how are we feeling about Gene Mar Gomez? Whoa, I forgot he was a Philly. Remember him there, dude? He was their closer for like a year and a half. Yeah, I was gonna say he was less of a Philly and more of an iron pig, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> go all ahead. Right, are we, are, how many rounds are we doing? 
I don't know. I'm do three or four. <laughs> I don't care. Brother, just go with it. Stop trying to put <laughs> parameters on it. Just go with it. Go with it. We'll go with it. He's got to stick to it, man. He's got topics he wants to get to. Yeah, it's true. Um, my turn, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm hitting you with. I'm this is a list written in, in Cheeto marks. <laughs> uh, I'll hit you. I'll hit you with third base great Michael Young. How about that? Oh, all right. All Michael right. Young's a good one. Great. Whoa. Speaking of things that went better for the Rangers than they did for the Phillies. Yeah, really. Let's uh, let's let's keep that train going with a little bit of Delman Young. Oh, oh, oh. good one, man! And all his legal troubles, or is that not count? Oh, that counts. Yeah, the, the, the brother, DUI. brother, yeah. that's why we're talking. <laughs> the, 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 he comes with the morning. anti-Semitism. Is that how that works? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't want to get into it, but I, I think Michael Schweimer got busted during the uh, World Baseball Classic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh shoot. <laughs> yeah, he had a fucking. He had a fucking. He had a fucking. Yamaka yeah, on his cap. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, he, who you got, Tom? He had a pine tar oh! yamaka on, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a, a famous brother of a Philly. I'm going to go with... Jeremy Giambi. <laughs> <laughs> I think he died. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what I have to say to that? I want to play a game. Oh, come on. You could have used what are you going to do? You know what? What are you going to do? All right. All right. I've been sitting on this one for a little while. BJ (laughs) Rosenberg. Oh. (laughs) Love their lemonade. Love their lemonade. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They came in the little milk cartons, right, at school? (laughs) Yeah, you shotgun them, get kicked out of class. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. All right. Who you got, Gar? Um, I'm hitting with a uh, uh, a Philly, definitely, definitely future Hall of Famer, Michael Stutes. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a great one. He's on that I Michael Schwimmer that train. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. I gotta blow the doors off of it then. All right. Yeah. Shit, that's tough. That is tough. <laughs> what do you give the guys that have everything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. <laughs> um, gosh, how do we feel about a little? Uh, how do we feel about a little So Taguchi? Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. That's World Series champion So Taguchi to you. Yeah, my yeah. you. To yeah. you? <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Sidebar. How about how about bullpen coach Mick Bullmeyer? <laughs> Dude, that oh now we're doing like like Old staff. number seventeen, baby. Did he, did he meet him? I, <laughs> Ryan Howard at a game threw me an autographed baseball and I thought it was signed by Ryan Howard. I looked down, it was signed by Mick Bullmeyer. I cursed God. <laughs> I cursed God. You looked down at him and you're like, you couldn't even give me Rich Doobie. <laughs> I know. I smoked a Rich Doobie after that stressed out day. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. All I wanted was hitting coach Mill Thompson. I know. No, honestly, if I could have picked any of the coaches, I'm, I'm looking for a little bit of Davy Lopes. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, where's Sam Perlazzo when you need him? <laughs> oh. Are you going to get a... Uh... You gotta get Philly's legend Pete McCannon. <laughs> <laughs> the players like him because he's bilingual. That's every dad ever. <laughs> All right, Tom. Wait, how, how, how much oh. did that go for on eBay? Well, milk. milk I don't know. I'm, listen, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here in my Ryan. Only. I mean, I'm here in my Ryan Sandberg underwear, wandering like, what can I get for these things? Yeah. Well, you know, hey, listen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jim, Jim's like zero dollars or best offer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like no low balls. I know what I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who you got, Tom? All right. All right. Um. All right. Listen, I'm trying to. I've done a lot of pitchers, so I got to do a position player here. I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Lou Marson. <laughs> Lou Marson's a good one. <laughs> all right, all right. What do you guys think of this? Rule five pick, 
way too much playing time. Tyler. Oh, I can But say. Tyler. I thought you were going to say Oduble. No, he was good. Tyler also... Goodell. Yeah, all right. Remember oh. Tyler Goodell? <laughs> I have another one who that also describes, and I am going to be using it for my next one. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have another rule five pick. I was going to say this is a race. Go ahead, Garrett. Uh oh. Uh, I don't think I'm taking him with uh, Jeremy Heckelson, am I? Heckelson. <laughs> I like Heckelson, though. That is appropriate. Hellickson. Yeah, that is opening day starter, Jeremy Hellickson, to you. Yeah. I <laughs> oh, he froze handsome yeah. again. Uh-oh. Yeah, he really did. That's kind of impressive. Dude, yeah, Garrett freezes like the stock photo in your wallet. You know what I mean? Yeah. How about this? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta get like like photo bucket like the the um watermark over. Yeah, Gareth's out here looking like an unused picture frame. Yeah, yeah Gareth's looking, <laughs> looking like a paint slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can right, you put it on Gareth's forehead? It says "Live, Laugh, Love." I want you guys to make sure that you got a grip on where you're sitting right now when I say this. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Ready? Cody Ransom. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh how to get the boy? Yeah, how to turn the boys on their fucking head? <laughs> Cody <laughs> Ransom. <laughs> sometimes, dude. Sometimes I have to watch that comeback against the Reds just to finish. <laughs> just to finish. <laughs> yeah, when she's not doing the job, you turn on Cody Ransom. <laughs> You turn on Cody Ransom and then you say, I'm trying to help you out. Get you something. Started. <laughs> you know, you know, like, Cody, women, women are complicated. Cody Ransom's never let you down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. I think, I think I'm, I'm going to try to win. He gets me there. Yeah. <laughs> he gets right. you across the finish line every time. Every time. All right. I think I want to win the race here between there's me and no Matt. Pit, there, there's no pitch clock when Cody Ransom comes to the play. I'll say that much. <laughs> you don't need sure. a pitch clock. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I beat, Rule I beat five the pick, every time. <laughs> Rule five pick, way too much playing time. All of those things also describe this guy, David Herndon. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> David Herndon. As soon as you started listing all that off, I was like, I thought you were going to say David Herndon. And I was like, oh, well, I'll say it. <laughs> yeah, so David Herndon was going to be my pick, but I'm glad I had a backup. What do you guys feel about Kevin Franson? Ooh. Yeah. Keep it going, because yeah, I, cool. I got a heater cooked up. You know yeah, what? Yeah. He was a Philly. For five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go one ahead. of my favorite names. One of my favorite names in Philly Philly history is Taylor Featherston. Wow. Was he Philly? Whoa. I think yeah. he was. Yeah. Wow. I remember he was an angel. I'm gonna have to look this up. Yeah. Well, it, was, it wasn't long. It wasn't oh. long. Austin, I'll tell you that. that guy was. I bad. thought of a good one, but I've already used it on the podcast. Oh. Are you ready for this? No one watches two episodes anyway. Yeah, it's you ready, true. brothers? Yeah, 19 I'm ready. games for the Phils with negative nine OPS plus. <laughs> right, oh, there you go. It. There you go. That's a fill. That's more we love it. money than all of me. <clears throat> How do we feel about Michael Bourne? Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. Michael Bourne's a classic. My, yeah. Another another post Phillies uh, oh, star. Yeah, this is another name that we're never going to say. He was traded alongside Jeff Geary. <laughs> I was going to say that next, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's not that was your the turn. Package. That was the package for Lidge, right? Yes. Did I just jump the line? <laughs> I, snatched, oh! I snatched Jeff Geary. Yeah, right? I just oh, like you did. Did. That's like the fattest version of Knockout on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now would've... I have to think of someone else. Who would have um, ever thought? Who would have ever thought two grown men would come to blows over Jack Geary? <laughs> Brother, you have never been to the fucking. You've never been to the Ridley fucking Barnaby Sam. Yeah, yeah, you've never been to Xfinity <laughs> Live in a crazy night. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I, Never in a million years would I have thought you would have come up with Jeff. I can't believe I've just I just got backstabbed like that. <laughs> Garrett <laughs> handsome frozen again. There he is. 
I know, it, it, dude, you back footed Jim and now you back footed me. What, what are you I'm trying to do? I'm a man. All right. Man. All right. Um, dude, I'm, just, I'm speechless. You're like Bryce Harper. Yeah. Uh, that's my dude, cousin. I, Come I've on, got dude. one. I've got one queued up that might fucking um, that might blow a hole in you. It might win the game. Yeah. yeah. Um. How far back am I allowed to go? As far as you want. Can I he go goes with Ron? Back in 2000. Can I go with Ron Gant? Ron Gant. No. I don't think they know who Ron Gant is. No, no Ron Gant. All right, all right. If you had said um, like Jason Michael, what about, what about Michael Wolf? <laughs> Whatever. No, Randy Wolf. Randy oh, Wolf. That's a good one. Wait, Michael, that... Michael Wolf was the person I knew growing up. <laughs> yeah, I got a good one. I got a good one. Brandon Duckworth. <laughs> <laughs> I have an autographed Brandon Duckworth poster in my basement. <laughs> Brandon Duckworth was the worst. All right, all right. How you guys feel? <laughs> how you guys feel about opening day starter Cedric Hunter? <laughs> Big remember, Sed? You remember him? Dude, he saw. Oh. <laughs> nah. So glad those days are over. Uh, all right, uh. you got, babe. I'll have you know, I had met uh, Philly's legend, Joe Blanton, at one point. Oh, oh. He hit a home run in the World Series. Yeah, famous Philly's your, power hitter. Is that your pick, or are you just bragging? <laughs> uh, yeah, is, that, is that a humble brag? Or... <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that He's a like, utility, man. I can use it both ways, man. Listen, call that your loved ones, pick, man. because... Call your loved ones, because I'm bringing Chan Ho Park to the dinner party. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's, that's good. Make sure your mother's lying down when you tell her. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I'm going to go with infamous Phillies pinch hitter Greg Dobbs. Oh, he was good. Yeah, he but was he good. was infamous. Well, that's, but, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he was infamous. Yeah, that's a good point. All right. It's like, it's like, why, why don't you pick a better one next time? For once. I'm, hope, I'm hoping this is Garrett's era, but I might be a little off. Emmanuel Burris. Wow. You <laughs> I get nothing from Garrett. I think I went over. I have to go back to my stock. That felt like, freezer, dude, that know, felt like eating a ghost nothing. pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Garrett? He's handsome frozen again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, imagine being the kind of guy who literally no matter what you do you can't get an awkward pause right, out what? of him <laughs> yeah there he is <laughs> there he is start over Garrett <laughs> who were you going to say we, we, you cut out I'm just posing <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he's like I wasn't freezing I was just who you got give me a name Oh, is it my turn? All right. Sorry, I was freezing up on you like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he typed in Chris Coast hot on Google. So he <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let me let me hit you with uh, that. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with a good one. Uh, in my opinion, way better than JT Romito, but uh, Jorge Alfaro. You know, Whoa. Whoa. El Oso. He, he of the hair. <laughs> yeah. He of the hair. Yeah. All right, James, go ahead. I'm buckled in. I uh I got you. Uh how do we feel? Um I like that let's, one. Let's do a little. Let's do a little Brian Schneider. Oh, I had him on my brain. <laughs> Brian Schneider is a good one. I, when don't you have him on the brain? Yeah, yeah I was gonna good say luck. that's true. Good that's, luck. A, that's a great point. <laughs> All right, listen, yeah, guys. Ethan's just four inches. Ethan's just He's four inches first. deep. He was, like he was, Brian he was a silver fox before Utley. Yeah, that's true. Listen, guys. It. It. I've been holding back my my true power level this entire time. It's time for me to unveil what I can really do. I'm going with Grady Sizemore. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> what wow. here? Billy's hero, Grady Sizemore. All right, Randy, I've been rubbing this one up for you. Yeah, he's been warming it up in, in those supple hands. Buddy, I want you to look into my eyes. Eric Kratz. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm subtracting one point, though, because we talked about him with Kenny on, like, Monday. Oh, so. well, ready? I, wait, I got a backup. Ready? That works perfectly. All right. Paul Baco. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> now we're talking. Man. You guys, you guys want to? You buried playing? the lead, kid. You buried. Now nah, this lead. is a podcast. <laughs> you guys, you, you guys want to keep playing? Because I can start another meeting. We only got two minutes left. This is a I podcast, see. dude. <laughs> you guys want to start another meeting? I know you got work in the morning, Garrett. It's up to you. Yeah, no, I don't care. This is my job. I love that Ethan's cup disappears when he drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, look much at that. Like, much like my dad. <laughs> That's I intentional. Just... That's intentional. That thing's full of fucking. Beef gravy. <laughs> yeah, much like my dad, I disappear when I drink. Um, I do. Wow. I'll send you. No, your, another, your dad was very present in hitting your mom oh, when he was drinking. Oh, <laughs> All right, I'll send you yeah. guys another link. Do we want to move on to? It's up to our guests. What do you guys want to do? Jim is noshing our <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I just want to follow Tom's schedule. I know he's got a list of things he wanted to get to. Yeah, yeah. that's true, dude. Dude, I got bullet points. Okay, I have Listen, allotted for five minutes for this. Wow. Okay, yeah, you know, you do whatever you want to do. I know your time with me is precious. Yeah. And valuable. I, I'm commonly known as a punctual sort of guy. Yeah, you know, wait, wait, how, how are we supposed things. to stick with your schedule when I'm sitting here on Chad Billingsley? Uh. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here on a mountain made out of Jeff Frank Gore, not knowing what to do with any of it. <laughs> hey, let's just kick off another round. Who you got, Gary? I'm I'm jumping off a tower of Marlin Bird right now. Oh, oh Marlin Bird! Oh, wow. all right. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. Is it... Oh yeah, yeah, Jim. Okay, all right. Yeah, Jim. Jeff yeah, Frank yeah, Gore. Listen, is practice. I didn't want to have. I didn't want to have to do this, but I'm gonna have to call Pedro Fleas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, you can't just you can't just say Pedro Feliz and then what? Just walk out of the conversation. I will. I will. Right, I'm taking my now? Eric Rutledge and I'm heading out. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Um, I am gonna go with JD Durbin. JD Durbin, <laughs> the lesser known Durbin on the Phillies team. <laughs> now, see, I could say Chad Durbin, but that would be low hanging fruit. And I got something better because I'm locked and loaded with Pete LaForest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think that's you think that's slick, but I got Adam Eaton coming right at you. Oh, oh that's World Series winner Adam Eaton to you. Yeah. Oh. Owner of a ring. <laughs> Adam Here's <Eaton>. my <laughs> Wow. I hate to throw a wet blanket on this flame, but I got Antonio Bastardo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tony No Dad. Oh! <laughs> <Don't be so laughs> yeah. Antonio Bastardo was certainly the most caked up MLB player to ever live. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That, He's dude, extreme, unequivocally true. Unequivocally caked. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He actually He's filed listening. a trademark for nothing but cakes, but he got beat out. <laughs> he was he was so caked up he put candle right in his crack and let him off when he's pitched. Oh, no, sorry. Hold on. I got to do it right. That's more like it. All right. Let's see. Quit, quit stalling, Tom. Who you got? You guys, you guys really thought that I'm a little surprised you guys let this name drop this far. Pete Orr. <laughs> Billy's legend Canadian of the game, man. Pete Orr. The man who, who really locked down being terrible in left field for this Philly squad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You think you're slick with your little Pete Orr. I'm sitting here on Jerome Williams. <laughs> Is he the guy with the pink glove? Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, who you got, Jim's guys? waiting patiently. Jim's like Jim's like a spider <laughs> at the center of his web. He's like, dude, I know I got you. <laughs> <laughs> who you got, Gar? Um Oh, man, this is tough, but uh, I think I'm going to go back to Marlon Bird's uh, fellow teammate, Ben Revere. Oh, Ben Revere. We let him slip. That's on us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know I'm a little disappointed. You know what it is? We watched Ben Revere. We didn't know what we had. <laughs> yeah. So it was too late. Here he comes I again. Think. There he is. You guys ready? Yeah. Jake Thompson. <laughs> 
<laughs> part of the goal. Yeah, it randomly generated Philly. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking that this, this over there, like, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. <laughs> um, I'm thinking this this team is in need of a real shutdown, forty plus year old reliever, and I got just the thing. Okay. It, right here in my back pocket, I got Jose Contreras. <laughs> okay, well, I was gonna say him. <laughs> well, listen, the, Ethan's not the only one who's just gonna be stealing people's ideas this time. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I heard you guys had a bad case of not enough left-handed pitching, but I got your medicine for you in Joe Savory. <laughs> mm, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. pitching in quotes, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pitching. <laughs> pitching. yeah, I wake up with a dose of him every morning. Yeah, yeah, I know you like to keep it sweet, but I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you feel about a little savory with your breakfast? <laughs> I would pour Joe Savory over toast. I'll say that. <laughs> I'll say that. Can I say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's Ethan's second spit take on this podcast <laughs> no I didn't spit I kept it together <laughs> uh, come on dude really you're not gonna do it for the for the theatrics all right wait a minute Joe Savory's good but he's no Randy Cho come on <laughs> well <laughs> whoa uh, all right Gar who, who we got who you sitting right. on I mean, Tom, Tom took Jose Contreras for me, but that doesn't mean Juan Pierre is stealing my heart. Oh, <laughs> Juan Pierre. Underrated. That's a hot name. Simultaneously over and underrated. Yeah, yeah he, he really was in that, you know, that sweet spot. Like, nobody <laughs> looked at Juan Pierre and went, oh, he's fine. Jim, I know you got a nice stocking stuffer for me. Let's hear it. All right. All right. AJ Burnett. Oh, Ooh, the corpse a- thereof. AJ Burnett is a good one. All 2009 right. World Series champion AJ Burnett. Yeah. Who yeah. was not who we signed. Yeah, we signed. <laughs> we no, we signed first half 2009. We signed Burnett. cuts in line at the right aid, AJ Burnett. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Listen, if it, it look, this team has a lot of pitchers who are great at getting lit up. But I, I want to throw one more hat in the ring. Okay, I'm going with Tyler Cloyd. <laughs> oh, I like Tyler Cloyd. <laughs> Tyler Cloyd, whose career was absolutely ended by like a journeyman infielder on the Rockies, just blasted <laughs> like a third decker off him. <laughs> Chris right, I'm Nelson. Sit- I'm sitting on two good ones, but I'm going to give you the better one first. Okay. At Meshack. Whoa. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's all-star Pat Neshek to us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, the weirdest all-star appearance of all time. <laughs> yeah, that was a real well. Every team's got to have one. Yep. All right, Gary. Well, I really hope I don't take your second one with uh, uh, Carlos Santana. Oh. oh Mr. Yeah. Slamtana. Yeah, the guy who broke all the TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah ex-Best Buy employee. <laughs> Mm. I've got a little bit of uh, <laughs> I've got two things going on. I've got two pots on the stove. I've got I've got okay. Ryan Madsen on Ooh. one side. Okay. And then on the and then, and then on the other side. Yeah, what do you pair him with that dish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm thinking a little bit of Ryan Madsen, but I, I, I wouldn't do it unless I was cooking up some Dominic Brown. Yeah. Yeah, a little, oh. a little Dominic Brown au jus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now is this is this June 2013 Dominic Brown or is this any other time of the year Dominic Brown? No, yeah, this is this is pre All Star break Dominic Brown versus right handed pitching, <clears throat> and then on top we've got we've got Jose Bautista. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got a thick layer, Joey Bass. We've got Jose Bautista chives all oh, over yeah. this. <laughs> all right, guys. So listen, we need to talk about guys. Again, who are going to get lit up nonstop? Just I'm absolute, like, I'm listening. Absolute, <laughs> absolute gasoline in the bullpen. Okay, just absolute tinder. 
We're going with Josh Lynn Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he go to Japan? He went to Korea, yeah. Yeah, he went to Korea. Um, I think I'm he like, also. There? I, I didn't he... know they made flights that went to there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. All right, all right. He went to KBO because he was like, hey, listen, I need something that's beneath single A so I can be effective again. All right, all right. You think you're clever with Josh Lindblom, but you didn't know I'm sitting on $75 million man, Jake Arietta. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't he so easy to forget that he was a Philly? <laughs> yeah. I like I like when Bryce Harper signed with the Phillies. He took a video of sweeping up in his underwear. <laughs> and it, it, like everyone was like, that, they're going to the chip. The chip. <laughs> they're going to the fucking chip. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, you know, they they weren't right that year, but eventually <laughs> they got it. You know, they nailed it down. You give them enough chances. Yeah, if I say the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl every year, eventually. Yeah, eventually. Won't do it. Eventually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna hit you with what Bryson Scott wants to be, is a uh, little Scott Kingery. Oh. I don't know if that's Whoa. true. Soon, but... oh, remember when I they think called that him might Scotty be the other Jetpacks way around. Then... Scotty uh... Jetpacks, yeah. Remember mm-hmm. they called him Scotty Jetpacks, and then he wasn't good enough to have a nickname? They took it away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was stripped you know of his nickname. You have to lose your nickname? Yeah, he's Scotty Pedestrian. <laughs> yeah, Scotty stays on the ground at all times. <laughs> um, This one, yeah, how about, how about, let's just, one time, let's give it up for the Citizen 7. What? Wait, that, like, fan <laughs> cam thing? Yeah, there's seven Tom knows people what I'm in the crowd. About. Tom knows what I'm them, talking about. Were they yeah, handing him the green backpack, and we're like... Yeah, yeah the, the fucking backpack with a bunch of papers <laughs> in it you're never going to look at in your life. Yeah. yeah, and then you got like a like a Citizens Bank T-shirt. At that point, why are we giving it? Billy's <laughs> logo it for... nowhere to be found. Yeah, why Citizens why Bank up? only. Why are we giving it up for the McDonald's home run jackpot? <laughs> yeah, or like or Howard's homers. Yeah, but I re- I really like the names though. It's always like, all right, in this inning is the McDonald's home run jackpot. Stacy K from Mount Airy, you'll win fifty dollars. <laughs> People yeah. from Mount Airy always win 50 50s It's literally <laughs> so. It's such bullshit. Yeah, Mount that's... Airy has won every 50-50 at a Philly sporting event <laughs> since I was a little kid. I, just no, I love. I loved when they would do the, the McDonald's Airy. home run thing, and it would it would come up, and it would be like two thousand seven Carlos Ruiz, and they're like. You'll win a Phillies prize pack because he just grounds into a double play. And... <laughs> yeah, you have no idea what memories you just conjured up. When you Phillies prize pack. Phillies prize. <laughs> Dude. That like, was always like, you know, I love that when it would be like. That's what I say when I'm getting naked in front of somebody. I'm like, you ready for your Phillies <laughs> prize pack? <laughs> That was that. <laughs> that was always like it would be like a trivia question. It'd be like which which relief pitcher born in the month of May with the initials K S started two games in the 1984 <laughs> season. Submit your answer on Phillies.com. I'm having the answers to Hudson every time. <laughs> <laughs> every answer was Kent to Colby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's give it up for Karen K in Mount Airy. <laughs> You win a Phillies prize pack courtesy of uh, ATT. Yeah, we got to find somebody who won one time just to find out what was in the Phillies prize pack. Yeah, bring you know, I wasn't the one. I don't live in Mount Airy. It's tasty cakes, dude. <laughs> Nothing goes better with Phillies. Man, yeah. All that tasty cake. No, it was definitely, it was, it was a pack of butterscotch crimpets and then like one of those paper pennants that you used to get at like Manoa School. <laughs> yeah, signed by like Vince Papali. <laughs> no, it's, it's signed by the oh, worst possible by Philly. No, no, it's, it's signed by the fanatic. <laughs> it's yeah. like the janitor. Dude, I ran into Vince Papali. I I ran into Vince Papali on an insomnia cookies one time, and I had nothing for him to sign, so I had him sign my cookie. (laughs) Wait, 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 could you you formulate words? Or were you like, "Boo, you went, Mark Wahlberg"? I was like, I, 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 I I shoved the cookie in his face, and I was like, "Invincible." (laughs) Yeah, you looked at him. We're like, "You're Elizabeth Banks." I don't even know whose turn it is. I, I imagine yeah, the Phillies prize pack was that baseball that Jimbo got from Ryan Howard that was not signed by Ryan. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, it, yeah. it had somebody's signature like printed it. on it. 
I'm pretending like I didn't like it, but I was 10 years old, dude. I was fucking like making out with that thing. <laughs> yeah, every Phillies prize bet comes complete with a milk Mick Bill Meyer signed ball. <laughs> you say that you were that you were 10, you were 11. That don't ask like you're not jacking off to it right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, you guys don't know what you're talking about, isn't that right, Mick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, yeah like, you think in the Phillies prize pack you got like a a mini Charlie Manuel like bobblehead. No, I mean, you bobble. get a piece of you get a piece of game chewed gum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what it is a Charlie Manuel bobble gut. <laughs> yeah, oh, a okay, bobble that's, gut would be so funny. That's worth money. All right. <laughs> Yo, I got I to gotta call a quick pause to this because my friend Bill just texted me and said, yo, dad, I quit my job. Want to get food or something? <laughs> <laughs> he knows me so well. <laughs> I despise him. <laughs> Wait. Who's dude, turn is it? I, I, I love the idea out. of quitting your job and the first thing you're going to do is spend money. <laughs> yeah, I that's a point out. That's a this dude, special. This dude posts all over Instagram, like his whole story is just like, you know, yeah, managing over at CVS now, no big deal, you know, MBD, and then like, yo, bro, just quit my job. <laughs> I just walked out, dude. You're walking out on 14 bucks an hour at that job. Okay, you can't just throw that out. You can't, you can't leave that on the table. Yeah, <laughs> you're leaving a lot on the table. Okay, not everybody's Bobby Bonilla, dude. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> all right, so, all right. Who's going? We need to get some more Phillies names going here. We need to, we need need to bring it down. What you need is like a little Ben Francisco in your life. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. a little callback. Yeah. yeah. Ben Francisco. Brings back down to earth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. James, all right. Got anybody, James? Give me a name. Yeah. How about Eniel de los Santos? <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. How about... Hey, yeah. If you didn't believe me then, how about now? <laughs> how about Lance Nix? Oh, oh, oh. whoa, whoa! <laughs> Lance Nix. Literally, I... like, I have a feeling that if you actually found somebody who was dead and just subbed them in for Lance Nix, that history would not change. <laughs> like no butterfly effect. <laughs> yeah, we we all lived through the awful Phillies years. I cannot believe nobody said Cameron Rupp yet. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, anytime someone says Cameron Rupp, all I can think of is Darren. Gotcha. Darren Ruff. Darren, Darren Ruff. Ruff. <laughs> Darren and the Ruff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had we had a guy named Ben Silver on who writes about the Phillies for the good fight, and I asked him to give me his underrated player for this year, his Darren and the Ruff. <laughs> <laughs> Darren... Right. Rough, no middle name. Yeah. yeah, it's like me, just Garrett. <laughs> yeah, just Garrett. <laughs> Your yeah. name is Gart. That's true. I like Gart Brooks. Gart. Yeah. Gart, Gart Brooks. Simpson. Gart right, Bartolo Colon. <laughs> Gart Gart. Um, James, who you got? James over there, like 2008 Philly Boss. <laughs> okay. We got most of them. We uh, Rudy C in his. <laughs> oh, how did I how did I forget? <clears throat> My guy Wilson Valdez. Yeah. Oh. Hold Videos. on, hold on, but that's not all I have. That's not all I have. How about oh. this guy? Miguel Cairo. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Do all something right. about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah, try not to ask for a doggy bag to take leftovers home from that one. Look, <laughs> we're we're talking infielders who weren't good. We're talking Cody Smashy. All right. Well, of course. I already brought him up, dude. Oh, you Bro, did. We're doing He's, retreads now. You did Cody Smashy. All right. I thought you I did, did Cody Ransom. Listen, I I hit all the Codys. <laughs> it's yeah, all sprinkled it, on there on the toast. So what? You did? Yeah, you did yeah, Cody Jim, Ross. Jim's like, Jim's like, you don't remember? I said Cody Ransom, Cody Ashy, Agent Cody Banks. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So I got to go back to the drawing board. I'm going with David Weathers. Was he a Philly? I don't think he was a Philly. Uh, all right. Well, then you know what? I'm going with Gary Majewski. <laughs> was he a Philly? 
I hope so. I think he was, <laughs> I think he might have been an early 2000s film. Let's check. How about, uh, how about you, Tom? Just keep Tom's name. Miguel Cabrera, Albert Pools. How long can I keep going? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Carlos Correa. Uh, uh, All right. We'll uh, let you uh, off the uh, hook. Derek We'll let you off the hook because I got JD Hammer ready to go. Whoa. 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 Oh, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How about how about how about how, all right fine? How about hey, Vance hey, Worley? Hey, whoa, 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 listen. Yeah, yeah, was like my turn, my turn, my turn. Me, 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 me. Uh, I'm a, I, you know, I find it funny that there was a team with like Cliff Lee, Cole Hamels, Roy Halladay, and Kyle Kendrick. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course. What did you wait? Who did you expect them to throw? Roy Halladay. Yeah. So, you know what? Yeah, that's what I expect. All right, Jim. Uh well, I'll start off with uh <laughs> this is this is the three course meal you're getting. <laughs> you're getting uh you're getting to start you're getting uh Pedro Martinez, obviously. <laughs> well of course. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Known for, exclusively for being a Philly. <laughs> um Gosh, uh, Chris Coast. I uh, I brought him up already. Um, I like how you just set yourself up for failure. <laughs> you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had nothing. I had nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on, calm down. The chef's still preparing. Yeah, he, he doesn't even have the bullets in his gun. He's <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. <laughs> hey, don't um, call how anywhere. do we feel? <laughs> how do we feel about uh? Gosh, who else is there? I think did we name every single Philly in history? What do I feel about Whitey Ashburn? <laughs> <laughs> He's over here like Jim Bunning. What's that doing? <laughs> Jim Costanti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is a, my grandfather used to play this game. He always used to win. He used to say Robin Roberts. <laughs> he, he used to say Del Enos. Yeah, Jack <laughs> <Lyon>. <laughs> but I got a good one. I got a good modern rando Philly. So, you know, continue with your quote unquote three course meal. No, 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 no. Go ahead. All right. I'm going with arguably the most randomly generated backup catcher who ever lived, Paul Hoover. <laughs> Is that a real person? That's yeah. what, about, what about Vance Worley? Wait, you got a list? Are you just reading off? You're like, I did my prep well, work. I'm, I'm writing down names as I think of them. Look. All right. That's not working. All right. Um, easy. That's all right, because I got a backup. I got Andrew Knapp ready to go. Whoa. Ooh. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Take it easy. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to hold on to this one, but um, I was feeling a little Ross glowed this morning. Oh, oh base is glowed. Lost loads a good one. Bases gloated. <laughs> uh, what about? Oh my god, it's gonna kill me! But I bet you one of you guys is gonna get it. Who was playing third base the day Roy Halladay threw the perfect game? Oh, I, I know exactly who it was. You, you want to know? You want the answer? You wow. say. It. Juan Castro. That's one of the deepest cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Are you taking another one or is it me now? Go ahead. All Go right. ahead, champ. Jim's all like, right. I am not a selfish man. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I'm so, a giver. I'm a lover and a giver. I'm going to do Philly's relief ace. God of the, the mound, Danny Spies. God of the map. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't want to double up because I the other guy I had in mind I used like two weeks ago. So I'm I'm gonna. Well, that's I'm gonna right. I'm gonna pass on it. I'll give you a minute because I got I got Chase Darno. Whoa, he was a Philly. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like 2015. You could persuade me that he never existed. It wouldn't even be that hard. No, it's it's like Lance Nix. Like you could just replace him with somebody else, and history wouldn't change. Yeah, if you if you saw Yo, you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Out, everything would be the same. I'm ready. But wait, it's All Garrett's right. turn. 
It's Garrett's yeah, turn. It's, it's Garrett's turn. Dude, look Garrett's at frozen it. solid again. <laughs> How is every time Garrett's screen freezes, it's just like it's a LinkedIn headshot? Dude, I'm telling like, you, he freezes in profile pictures. Yeah, sorry. I just got sent <laughs> back down to Lehigh Valley. I'm back now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reporting live from Coca Cola Park. <laughs> Who you got, babe? My turn already. All right. Uh, who'd you say? I missed it. I said I said uh, Chase Darno. Uh, I'm gonna hit you with. Uh, I, I feel like I gotta I gotta finish off uh, Jimbo's three course meal. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna hit you with some dessert, and I'm gonna come at you with Adam Morgan. Oh, oh. Adam Morgan. Oh. Was bad, dude. That's, Adam Morgan that's for a good random. Yeah, Adam Morgan was just always out there too. South Ardmore Zone. <laughs> Is that where he's from? I don't know. A local guy. Yeah, yeah, Havertown Zone. Adam. Yeah, Morgan. Elwell Field Zone. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm telling you, dude. Every time you turn on the Phillies from like 2015, 2018, it's just Adam Morgan out there getting bounded. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Morgan out there, at like wow, a five seventy eight ERA. He's, oh, he's doing pretty good this year. Dude, it was brutal. It was like watching a beating take place. It was awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that... All right, who I... you got, James? Mm, I had it and then lost it. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> oh. it's not the first time you said that. Oh. Then, <laughs> then we all. <laughs> um. <laughs> gosh. Uh. Damn it! Who was I gonna say? Oh, it was so funny too. Um, <laughs> gosh, uh, come back to me. I'll get it. All right, all right, okay. you're all right. Oh, I got no, nope, I got it. There you go. Okay, I got it. I got. It. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot, but uh, uh, former Phillies great, Reading Phillies great, and <laughs> my stepsister's baby daddy, Taylor Buckholds. <laughs> was he in Philly? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was. Was. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Literally it's with... literally my, my stepsister's baby daddy. <laughs> uh, you know what? Hey, listen, that's that's a guest appearance waiting to happen. It's <laughs> I if I, I I could get him for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between that and Josh Fuentes, we're low. Yo, yeah. yeah, you're talking about two in the stink follower Josh Fuentes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I want I want to bring we have a pretty good roster here. I want to bring a dual threat. Okay, this guy comes at you from two directions. He's a relief ace, and he's also <laughs> so do I, hon. <laughs> he's a relief ace. He's also a master analyst. I'm going with Ricky Batalico. <laughs> oh, Ricky Bo. <laughs> I got you. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do one more round after this. We go around one okay. more. Round. We're almost okay. out of time. I got a great one, and this might have been said in a previous show, Tom. Correct. I got a backup if I need to. Okay. The big tuna himself, Hector Luna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, right. Hector Luna might Hector be one of the Luna. I think I might have missed all of Hector Luna. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gary. I think I more. just blanked it out. <laughs> Last one. Uh, I'm gonna come in hot with Ronald Torres. Oh, oh yeah, Joe yeah. favorite. Don't forget about Philly's legend. Well, of course. yeah, much like Joe Girardi, F- Philly Smith. All right, Jim, <laughs> finish, finish it out strong. You guys ready? Finish it off. Yeah, finish, finish right. me, Daddy. Gosh, the icing on the cake for this episode, I'd probably say. Uh, let me get a little Tony Gwynn Jr. Oh, oh. That's That's a good one. all right all right so I, I gotta finish strong here okay i just thought of this guy and i'm hoping you guys all know who this is i'm going with desi relliford <laughs> i remember desi relliford he's bad dude desi relliford was like nafi perez before there was nafi perez right, yeah you give know? it another one give it another one because they don't they don't know you guys don't know who nafi or Del, uh, deli reservoir that, that guy is that's irrelevant you like how i just glitched out on air <laughs> good right, give so, me one more all right i gotta come up with uh how about travis lee <laughs> yeah travis lee was bad too all right all right i don't think they know travis lee either that's fine hey, all man. right 
I'm finished. Tell me. All right, I got one. I got one more good one for you, you guys. Ready? All right, I was busy visiting Roy Holiday in heaven. I think. I think we're Whoa. Finished, I think Whoa. we're finishing up strong. Ready, boys? Take it easy. Mike Fontenot. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> can I can I redo mine? Oh, <laughs> I want to do somebody a little more modern. I've used this guy before, but he's one of my favorite random Phillies. I'm going with Brian Bogusevich. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yo, I want you know I had Ben Lively on my list, locked and loaded, man. Yeah, and you just thought maybe you'd just leave him off. You know, yeah, no reason to bring that up. I'm gonna bring you it up. You thought that overtime. was appropriate to leave him off? <laughs> yeah, you kept Ben Lively from the rest. Of the yeah, he he saved it for garbage time. What the hell is this? He I thought Mike Bond though was better. The kid buries yeah. the lead. He sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well write for the Times. Oh, no. all right, we we gotta wrap it up, Jim. Tell people where to find you. Yeah. Oh my gosh! You can Put find it in the street me, corner, uh, if you know what I mean. Beep, beep. I don't know. You can find me. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at the Jim Gillespie. That's it. Not just any Jim Gillespie. The Jim Gillespie. <laughs> um, and you can also contact me through my podcast at Two in the Stink. Also referred to as Tits. Whoa! Is that correct? Yeah. And he's right. And you know what? Let you it be what? known. Take it easy. Let it be known because we're on the baseball podcast. Jim, you are followed by the one and only Josh Fuentes. Yeah. And when we do the Rockies mega event, <laughs> Jim's like, I didn't want to be a hell of a name. But, uh... <laughs> Garrett, where can people find you? What are your what are your What do you say? Little... Next episode we do Colorado Rockies? <laughs> yeah. No, next episode we gotta <laughs> do like the twins. Take it easy. Yeah, we'll Omar Quintanilla for you. I'm telling you. I'm Listen, take enough. it easy. I don't want to fucking I don't want to walk down Houston Street. <laughs> yeah, the, the the Raphael Bettencourt. Yeah, <laughs> where can people yeah, where can people find your comedy? Yeah, what are your pluggables? Uh, yeah, usually uh, I just hand out my life three sixty so people can track me. But um oh. you know, if people don't want to do that, uh I'm usually pretty off the grid, you know. Uh, sometimes I'll do guest appearances on Jim's uh, podcast. Um, right, Jim? <laughs> I like how he set himself up for that. <laughs> He's like, I will definitely be coming on Jim's podcast. Jim, you no. should. You guys all should. You guys should <laughs> You're like, Jim is cool with this. We're doing it. Right, Jim? <laughs> yeah, Jim, just saying, you know, it, 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 Garrett's like the guy who proposes at the Phillies game. You know, anybody, anybody who was in that problematic picture at the Starbucks is allowed to be on my podcast whenever they want. Oh, I wasn't in that picture, yeah, dog. I wasn't in yeah. that picture, dog. You're oh. both in that picture. I'm not in that picture. Nope. Nope. In my mind's eye, you are. You know what? I think, or no, maybe <laughs> Ethan's in the picture. Yeah, Definitely. he is. I, I would argue I am the whole picture. How much space I take up. Whoa. All right, boys. John Proctor, Bobby Abreu. Oh, yes. Yeah, Kevin hey. Stalker. Hey, uh, Aaron Freddie Rowan. Galvis. Yeah, Aaron Rowan's a good one. Aaron <laughs> Harang. JP Crawford. <laughs> Tyson <laughs> Gillies. Are we just running Gerard, out of Gerard Saltalamacchia. Was he a Philly? I don't think he was a Philly. I don't know. He might have been in a minor league deal. He is in the <laughs> Yeah, but well, then I'm just going to say Jason Grilly, you know? Well, at that point, they, that point they were just going Michael really? Kadai. It's like so. fine, fine. <laughs> if you fine. want, Jason yeah. Grilly, Tom's like how did it come? <laughs> Brandon Moss. <laughs> Brandon Moss. <laughs> In case of emergency, use stairs. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Sam Fold. All right. I didn't want to have to do this, but Scott Air, and that's the end of it. <laughs> Jack Tashner. <laughs> yeah, Scott Mount Airy. <laughs> we bring it all full circle. Yeah, see it all. It's comes Mount Airy every time, guys. We love we love a callback. Fine. If you're making me do Skip Schumacher, then that's that. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm I'm officially awarding a Phillies prize pack to Scott Air. Uh, <laughs> Listen, Raphael Marchand is headlining the Citizen Seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you think you're clever with your little Davy Gruyon, don't you? Whoa! <laughs> How about all right? I'll take I'll take that and I'll raise you with Jalen Ortiz. 
<laughs> He's a future <laughs> Elmer Descent's name. Now we're just talking to future Phillies. Yeah, Louis cool. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. He's no Simone Muziati, I'll tell you that much. Carl Crawford's kid is supposedly pretty good. He is. Yeah, Carl Crawford, Crawford Jr. He's no Gabriel Rincones. Oh, oh my God, is he ever? Look, I'll I'm tell you what, out. Gonna... I'm about to I'm about to win two Phillies prize packs, okay? Just this is my do. final word on the topic. I'm going with Larry Green Jr. <laughs> All right. All right, Garrett, who you got? Last one. We're ending it out, apparently. You got my you got my you got my back to the wall, so I gotta I gotta throw my last my last option in Jonathan Pettibone. Oh that's a very good one. yo, Garrett's a cornered animal in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like yeah, a rat. The only thing that would have topped him. <laughs> He'll chew yeah. your leg off to get off the glue trap, dude. I can only... <laughs> <laughs> <Trap's coming out. laughs> Yeah, you want me to top that? I can pull out my loogie if I really need to. Give you a little David Buchanan. <laughs> Give you a little Cornelius Relax. for your trouble. Relax. If you don't like me at my Davy Lopes, you won't like me at my Brett Myers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <sighs> Can we do this again, guys? <laughs> Billy Speck event every week. <laughs> Can we please do this again? <laughs> like, guys. Like, I'm just waiting for like 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 six months from now, Jim comes in and he's like, I can't wait any longer. Adam Hazley. <laughs> yeah. Pastor Wells. <laughs> guys, final final thing before we go. Predict the Phillies number of wins. Where where are we going, Garrett? What are you saying? Uh, I'm saying at least. Uh, no, no, at least. Give a straight number. Straight number. I'm saying they hit 101. Whoa! Wow. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> All, right, All right, James. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Phillies are gonna hit 92 wins and Ooh. miss the playoffs. Ooh. Really with three wild cards? Uh-huh. I think it's gonna be tough. Can I, take? I think it is. Feel, I think I think they're gonna feel missing Bryce for the first time. Like, I don't know, man. Those Cincinnati Reds are nipping at their heels. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Pirates are gonna be better than people think. That's um, a hot take, dog. Whoa. Whoa. Really hot. That's a Fukushima um, level take. Okay. <laughs> listen, Jeez. listen. I'm a bit of a fan. Yeah, Jim's like, I didn't come on this show to make oh, friends. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'd call myself a medium, but I'm clearly a large, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, your prediction. You My prediction, I'll go, I'll go 88. 88? All right. I, I was going to say I'm going to split the difference between you and Jim, but that's not how math works. I'm thinking 91 wins, and I do think they're going to get that wild card spot. I look at the NL Central, and frankly, I look at the NL Central, and I kind of go like this. I despise him. So I don't think we're going to be seeing a lot of competition from, like, the Brewers or the Cardinals for that world wild card spot. So I think the Phillies got it. And then I'm looking at maybe maybe they play the Mets, and then maybe all of the Mets starting pitching gets hurt in the playoffs because, you know, that does yeah. tend to happen to the Mets a They're lot. They're old. They're old. The top yeah. of their rotation is old. We can yes. do a Mets episode next. We can talk a little John Neese. Probably a little All Brad right. Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> That's Team Italy great. Uh, enough. Save little, it little for the R. Mets mega Dickie. event. Yeah, save okay. it for the Mets one. All right, boys, this has been wonderful. Thanks for coming on. It has been. And you know what? Everybody says at the end of this podcast, they always say it, and we never forget. We always say, His name is Dan We always <laughs> end it in See the same on. way. See you on the next one. See you on the next one.